I see students making some big mistakes when they approach LSAT reading comprehension questions, and I wanted to address some of those today in the hopes that it'll help you LSAT studiers out there avoid making these mistakes as you continue your LSAT prep. Most students make way too many markings on the reading comprehension passage. If you underline or highlight or circle things, you're probably trying to indicate that those things are important. But when you reread your notes later, when you reread the passage later, and you see those markings, you might be under the misconception that you thoroughly understand that part and then skip it in the future, when in reality, that's the most important part of the passage for you to focus on. There's also the issue that you can't unsee markings on the page. So if you've already made a marking and later reread the passage with a different intention from a different perspective, you won't be able to unsee your markings and you'll be distracted by them. It also takes way too much time to make all those markings. If you spend any longer than three minutes on your initial read of the passage, you're giving yourself significantly less than one minute per question. And so you don't want to overinvest yourself in your initial read of the passage. Another big mistake I see students making with LSAT reading comprehension is they're approaching the questions in the order given, not in the order that makes sense. You want to start with your global questions being your main idea, primary purpose, passage organization questions, then move on to the local or detail-oriented questions, and finally, the inferential questions that require a bit more reading between the lines, including the ones that are more similar to LSAT logical reasoning questions. So again, minimal markings, especially on the digital LSAT, don't fool around with the highlighting and underlining tools. Those are just going to waste your time. And then secondly, the order in which you approach the questions, don't do the order given, do the order that makes sense, attacking and grabbing your lowest hanging fruit first. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all future videos as I release them. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me personally. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.